So it's recording again. Yay. So, this is the third time. Oh, sorry. Good morning, planet Earth. Yeah. The first time, it didn't record sound. The second time was fine, and then it decided that while it was publishing, it was going to have an error and not publish. So this is the third time. So I've now spent half an hour doing this. So this is it. If this doesn't work, then I am done, and I'm going to bed. And that's it. So, I'm dressed up. Yes. Today was our J entry Thanksgiving dinner. I feel like I have this memorized by now. I've done it twice already. Um, so, our J entry Thanksgiving dinner. That was exciting. I made delicious fudge. And by delicious fudge, I mean delicious fudge. And I know many of you are probably quite shocked because I've never shown an inclination at cooking or baking anything except toast um, or maybe boiling water. But it turns out that I can make fudge. Even though I did do some parts wrong, I almost put in like a lot more of something than I should have, but I I handled it all. It was all good. Um, so that was a fun time. Um, uh, yeah. So my weekend. The reason I couldn't post a video yesterday, I apologize for that. But I went to bed. I mean, I woke up at 7 p.m. on Saturday. And I proceeded to do math until 9 a.m. on Sunday. Then I went to church from 9.30 until 10.30. Then I came back and I did more math. And then after that, I did my math. I went out and made fudge. And then, no, I lied. I did math until 2. I, then 2 to 3, I slept for one hour. Then I came out and did my fudge. Then after that, I did more math. Then I went down to the J-Entry Thanksgiving dinner. And then I came back up and I did my physics. And then after I finished my physics, I did my math until midnight. And um, I checked my emails several times throughout the day, you know, just... I have what I always do. Um, I'm usually pretty quick to reply to people and stuff. Uh, this week, yes, weekend, I probably was not, and I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, so I check my mail at 11.55 tonight, p.m. Right? Nothing. I finished copying the final problem that I did on from my, like, rough draft paper onto my nice, neat piece of paper. And then I check my mail. Hey, guys, guess what? Problem set 11 has been extended until Wednesday. Which means that I got one hour of sleep out of the last 30 hours of my life for no reason at all. So that's kind of irritating a little bit. And I found out that another kid got the email two hours earlier than I did. Yeah, so I have a feeling it was like alphabetical. Sometimes they send out only a few at a time so they don't crash MIT servers or something. I don't really think they'd crash if you're sending out to one class. It's a little ridiculous. Um, so, oh, I'm supposed to tell a story. I'm seeing my white shirt again. The people in my entry wanted me to tell you that I am a failure, apparently. At Well, I already knew I was a failure at many things, but um, I, I can't... On Friday, uh, a girl in our suite, actually Abby, who we interviewed for biology, her, she was doing math. Even though she wasn't a math major, she did biology. Um, she was going to a formal with uh, some guy that was coming. So when the guy came, uh, me and two other guys on my floor dressed up all like 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 nice, and we went down and met him there. And we like brought him up, and we were gonna like at first we were saying we were going to like intimidate him. And I know, I know that would be very easy for me because I mean, you know, yeah. And I mean, look at this terrifying <sighs> face. Yeah, I'm scary. Right. Well, anyways, um, so we all got dressed up, and the first time I came out, I came out with just my white shirt on. I go to work with just my white shirt on. It's no problem. It works fine. So yeah. Uh, but then they're like, no, Ryan, you can't just wear a white, t white, nice shirt. You need something underneath. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm back in my room, and I put something on, and then I came out, and they're like, no, you can't wear a black t-shirt underneath a white shirt. I was like, oh, my bad. How silly of me. So then I went, and I put on a white t-shirt that had writing on the front and, like, a picture and stuff, because I don't have any plain white t-shirts up here with me. And then... They're like, no, we can see through and see the writing and stuff. You need to turn it inside out. So then I went back and I turned it inside out. And my fourth try, I finally got it right. So that was exciting. Um, they just wanted me to tell that they think maybe you would laugh at me and make fun of me for it. So just in case there isn't enough that you already do. Um, I don't know who you are specifically that I'm talking to. Just the general public. General populace. One of the cool things about spending a whole weekend doing math nonstop and not sleeping is you begin to see everything in terms of mathematics. Now, this is great because I bought nachos and cheese. And I know you're thinking, nachos and cheese are delicious, but Ryan, 
Come now, Ryan. What do nachos and cheese have to do with mathematics? With the wonder of mathematics? You are about to find out. Oh. Yeah. When I took this tortilla chip out of the bag, I am not lying, the first thing I thought was saddle point. Perfect saddle point. Like, I took it on, like, this looks like something, and I didn't eat it, and I just stared at it. And I put it on my, like, shelf to show to you guys later, but I figured it was going to get stale, so I just ate it, and I took a picture of it. So here it is. This is what a saddle point looks like. See? Because it's, like, a saddle point is when you have, like, two, th like, three-dimensional parabolas in, like, 3D space. And one of them is going like this, and the other one is going like that. And they touch at their, like, maximum, minimum their extreme up points. So you have one extreme point like that in the middle. And because it kind of makes a saddle, right, like that, like you could sit on it like this way, right? See? I could do this all day. Actually, no, I couldn't. Um, so, oh, I hurt my ankle. Like, I hurt my ankle every day. I re hurt it. But yeah, so that was a saddle point and nachos and cheese. It's tasty and mathematical. Um, and now I am now the proud owner of my 11 page math problem set. Yeah, so that was a blast. I left a nice little note on the back of the last page um, when I finally decided that I was not going to find the volume of a stupid solid. Because I don't know what... Like, find the solid bounded by that. X squared over Z cubed minus 1 squared plus Y squared over Z cubed plus 1 squared is less than or equal to 1. And negative 1 is less than or equal to Z, which is less than or equal to 1. Do you know what the volume of that is? good, because I have no clue. Uh, so I wrote a nice little... I posted it on Facebook, but I figure some of you don't have Facebook. Here it is. It's now 11.48pm. I have a chemistry exam tomorrow morning. I've had one hour of sleep in the last 30 hours, and our lo two lowest PSET scores are dropped. Conclusion. This problem is crazy full, and I give up. Yeah. I enjoy math. I love math. Really. But when they give us so much that you can I cannot really take it all in and, and and smell the integrals as I walk down the path, the, the line integral of derivative slope path. And I'm just forced to get it done quickly and make sure it's done in time. And then find out it's not even due the day I think it is. Well, then it's not as much fun. Um, this better publish. Because I'm not doing this again. Uh, so I hope I do well in chem tomorrow, chem exam, woo woo, uh, then I'm pretty much done, I have physics tomorrow evening, that's it, and I'm very glad, I'll be back in Uxbridge in like two to three days, so that's very exciting, um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, I don't think there is, I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go to bed, because I have to get up at ten, adios.